Hey guys, Jenny JLB Nerdy here, coming at you today with a video all about my never have I ever at Disney. Some of these may shock you, so stick around. I've done a lot at Disney, but there's definitely some things on my never have I ever game that I have not done yet. So I wanted to go through with you today and let you know I am trying to right my wrongs and make these happen soon. And yes, there are a lot that are food related, hence why I'm wearing my Munch Squad, my brother, my brother, and me shirt, because it just felt like it fit. And it matches the ears really well, what can I say? So, shout out to Justin and the Munch Squad. Some of these are for you, my friend, because they're all big Diz nerds too. So, here we go. First thing on my list is popcorn. I have never had Disney popcorn. I like me some popcorn quite a bit. But not, I've just not done it at Disney. It's expensive. It's expensive. It's time consuming. And it's expensive. So that's pretty much why. Also, I cannot get in the habit of collecting those popcorn buckets, even though I really want the ones that look like a balloon, like a Mickey head, but it's okay. So when I let some friends know this, they were appalled, ashamed, and just completely shocked that I've never had Disney popcorn. So I promised I will right my wrong, hopefully in the next six months or so, and try it out. Props if it's in that sweet Mary Blair box they've got right now. So hopefully that one will be happening soon. Cause the popcorn does sound good, but I don't want to get hooked on it. Next on my list is a character that I have yet to meet. And y'all may not know this, or maybe you've picked it up by now. I love my character meet and greets. I have never met Peter Pan. He's come by when I saw him in the parade, and I love Peter because he's so quick on his feet. I was standing there, and he said, oh, can you hear better? And I was like, what? Because I was wearing another pair of ears. And I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, just quick on his feet, and he just kept going. And it was a wonderful interaction. So I would love, 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 love to meet Peter. Have him sign my autograph book, because, yes, I bought one for next time we go. Even though... We may not be doing meet and greets next time we go, but the next time we have meet and greets we do, that's one on my list right after Rapunzel, of course. The third thing that I am looking forward to doing, hopefully soon, that I've never done before, are the bubble waffles at Aristocrates at Disney Springs. Now, I love Japanese culture. Our ultimate bucket list trip is a trip to Tokyo and like two weeks in Japan, which will happen maybe one day if I would stop going to Disney World yeah I don't think it's gonna happen so eventually we want to go to Tokyo though and I know one of the trends over there are the bubble waffles and I was so stoked to see Disney food blog talking all about these bubble waffles at Disney World they look absolutely delicious I know you can get them in a Sunday, and I know sometimes they're on the dining plan so that is on my to-do list because, yum, I mean, come on, much quad, yum, yes. Fourth thing on my list is the Tangled Mural over at the Riviera. I am so stoked to check out the Riviera, I walk around, they've got some really good spots to grab a bite to eat. I know that I might have a Topolino reservation on the books for breakfast coming up, before the year's out, hopefully. And I cannot wait to check it out. Best part though has to be that Tangled mural. It looks beautiful from all the videos I've seen. And I know it's going to become the number one spot that I have to get a photo every trip we go. Disney was real smart to put that beautiful mural over there, knowing people are gonna seek it out, along with the Peter Pan one. So I cannot wait to go see it, maybe wear my punzi ears, and get about a thousand pictures taken in front of it, so. Don't worry, that'll be coming soon. Huh? And my fifth, never have I ever at Disney, is go to the, let me make sure I say it right, Jungle Limited Navigation Company, Skipper Canteen. Is that right? I hope so. So I love the humor of the Jungle Cruise, except when you're at the end of the day and you're dead tired and you're just like, dude, no, that's not happening. But most of the time, I absolutely love it. I love the shtick of it all and the idea of bringing the SEA 
into the Jungle Cruise just makes me so excited. My friend Josh over at Practically Perfect Park Hopping, Triple P, he has some sweet SEA blogs he's been putting out. And they are going through all the different characters, excuse me, members of the SEA. And I am just dying to get into this restaurant and see all the fun stuff. They have a secret SEA meeting room where you have to go through the bookshelf that's opened this magic secret door. It just looks so good. And I mean, they even have Willie and Disney's butterfly collection on the wall. Like, that's some good imagineering and love and just really good stuff put into that place. The food's good, I hear. I'm really tempted to order the whole fish, even though I don't know if I'd really like it. But something about the, ju the Jungle Cruise just makes me want to order a whole fish. So, we'll see. That might also be on an adventure that's coming soon too. So what are some of the things on your Never Have I Ever at Disney list? I would love to know because I probably forgot some. And I know there's so much to do at Disney World. So while you're down there, give me a thumbs up if you're having a good time. Hit that subscribe if you want. And know there is more fun Disney nerd stuff to come. And I'm so glad you're here and hanging out, and I hope you have an awesome day. See you later.